So my formicas keep dying on me. None of the el other ants die like this, but they keep dying on me. And my only guess is that because they spray formic acid, when they get in this tight space with no airflow, there's just some kind of formic acid build up and it, they end up killing themselves from it. I forgot I had left my very first ever cop formica out on the desk because she only had one antenna so I was going to kind of just, she took the back seat priority because I had been putting my other formicas in this box so maybe the airflow restriction of being in the box was enough to kill them because this one that wasn't in the box that I took out, she's doing fine. I just, I totally forgot about her, and she was on my desk, and I was like, oh yeah, I have this Formica Queen, and look, she has a bunch of eggs. There's a good pile of eggs right there, actually. Light works. Some of them might even be pupa already or um, larva I'm not sure what the middle stage is but yeah there's, a, there's like one on top of that that looks more like a larva deal geez my light is not staying on hmm she's got a good little clutch of eggs there I'll have to keep an eye on her so I'm not going to move her in the box, just in case it's what's killing my other formica ants. Like this one here. That is a dead ant. But, let's check on... This is the oldest queen I have. I've had her the longest. It's my first Paganomer Max, and I called... That's back when I called them the... Uh, Barbados, but I don't think she's a Barbados anymore. I now think that they are Occidentalists. So ignore the Barbados part. Yes, the cotton is getting moldy, so that is gross, but because I've had her the longest. I should get a new test tube and exchange her out, but it's just, I don't know, it's a hassle. She's just watching her eggs, it looks like. She's got a nice pile there. It's a lot of eggs, actually. That's a rock. I put a couple pebbles in here at one point. She has a lot of eggs, though. She has a, another pile underneath her right there. And then this big stack right here. Oh, look at that sting. Is that her stinger? Yeah, it's totally her stinger. She's like flexing her stinger right now. Or no, it's not. That's her leg. Wait, is that her stinger? Can't tell. It definitely looks like a stinger. Maybe she doesn't like me peeping at her so much. And then this is the Pagonomermex rugosus that I've had the longest. I also put a couple pebbles in there. So it might be difficult to tell which ones are eggs. So there's a couple eggs right there. She's just constantly trying to get out. Oh, there's all the eggs. There's a bunch of eggs. Then the last ant that I have that is one of the older ants I have is the crazy ant. And she has a lot of eggs scattered around too. It's interesting how some like to put them in a pile and some just kind of leave them scattered all over the place. These are all eggs. 
She's definitely the smallest ant I have, and the most, like, just normal ant I have. Typical little black ant you see. And she, uh, she's the only other ant I have besides Paganomramex, besides the Formica right here. And of course, I got my 15 Rugosis that I caught recently. They are all just doing their own thing in here. Throw some eggs? Mm, yep, I see at least one. Right there. Sweet. This one has really been tugging at tugging at her uh, cotton there. Don't see any signs of eggs. She's been too busy pulling her cotton to make any eggs. Okay, let's check one or two more. For eggs, see how they're doing. Not working. Is she just getting some water or something? Is this ant poop? What's all this black stuff in here? Yeah, I guess she's just getting a drink. Alright, false alarm. She's fine. Oh, here's a dead one. My first... My first... Paganomer Mex casualty. She might have just got stuck. There might have been too much water in here. Her abdomen's stuck to the side right now. Is she even. Is she even attached? It looks like she bit off her, the connection, yeah, she totally did. Her abdomen was, her gaster was stuck to the water, It's my guess, and to get free, she tried to bite off her, bite it off. That's my guess. Huh. Yeah, look, she just disconnected. Oh, I'm sorry. That is unfortunate. Rip. Anyone else having issues in here? It looks fine. It looks fine. This one has a really tight... I'm interested to see who does better. Like, look at the space in this one. It's very, very cramped. But some people say they, the more cramped, the better. Look, at she even has some eggs in there, it looks like. Yep. Some makes right there. So she's doing all right. Sometimes the more space just makes them feel less secure. So the tighter, the more secure, the better. I guess now that I found a dead one, I need to check all these. Here's a Occidentalis again. She looks fine, and there's some eggs in there. Looks like everyone else is doing all right. Only four casualties. <laughs> this is the third and fourth casualties here. Out of that many ants, I think we're doing doing all right for my first time. Well, thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more updates on these guys and ant content. And I'll see you guys later.